Hi everyone, it's Dylan again from Dylan's Reptile Time. Hope you're all doing okay. Uh, so today we're going to have a look at life cycles in uh, reptiles and amphibians. So basically from when they're like an egg uh, through to when they're uh, an adult. So we'll start off with uh, reptiles. Uh, so like Sparky behind me and Colin the corn snake here, a lot of snakes and lizards uh, lay eggs. Uh, they're not hard eggs like uh, birds eggs, they're more kind of leathery eggs. And the mummy snake, she would lay, well the corn snake for example, would lay around 25 eggs. And they lay them, they don't make a nest as such, uh, they just lay them in kind of vegetation, loose soil, in a secluded spot where they're not likely to get uh, eaten. Uh, the king cobra by the way, that does make a nest uh, for its eggs. Uh, but most snakes, yeah, they just lay them on the ground somewhere in a quiet spot. And after about 30 or so days, they hatch out into little baby snakes. And they don't have to stay with their mums and dads like a lot of animals do, like birds and mammals. Uh, they can just, they're just ready to go off looking for things to eat, just catch food for, uh, by themselves and off they go. And when they are young, they're more likely to be picked off by uh, predators who uh, might want to eat them. But that's why they lay so many eggs, uh, so that gives them a good chance for at least a couple of them to survive through to adults. Uh, but it's not always the case, they're not all uh, snakes lay eggs. Uh, so Dylan outside's got a boa constrictor, haven't you Dylan? Cheers Dylan. Yeah, so in the case of uh, boas, like the boa constrictor here, and around 30% of other snakes, uh, they don't lay eggs, so they give birth to live young, and that's what's called uh, ovoviviparous. So what they do is they develop the eggs inside their body, and then they give birth to live young, so live baby snakes. Uh, so again, after about 30 days or so or more, uh, they give birth to around, this one gives birth to around 40 or so live snakes. And again, they can just go off hunting on their own. They don't have to stay around with their parents. All right, over to you, mate. Cheers, mate. Yeah, so as you saw, uh, most lay eggs uh, and some, like the boa constrictor, uh, give birth to live young. So that was the main kind of life cycle of uh, lizards and snakes. So we can have a look at now at the life cycle uh, of the tortoise. So before we have a look at the tortoise, I just thought I'd show you the uh, life cycle of a snake again. So the adult snake, I've just realized is a garter snake on this picture. They actually give birth to live young, but we'll ignore that for now. Uh, so yeah, snakes mostly lay eggs. Uh, those eggs are quite leathery, not hard like bird's eggs. And if you notice on the eggs, there's little slits there. Uh, so that's where the baby snake has broken out of the egg using what's called their egg tooth. And then they turn into, yeah, baby snakes and then adult snakes again. So tortoises here, like the marginated tortoises from Greece, uh, they lay eggs and they're also very good diggers. Uh, so the mummy tortoise would dig a hole with these big powerful legs and arms and these claws. And then she'd lay a couple of kind of ping pong ball size eggs like this into the hole. Then she covers the hole up and then they just hatch out after about 30 days or more into little uh, baby tortoises. And when they're born, their shell isn't hard like this. It's really spongy and they're quite vulnerable at that stage. Uh, but soon, after a little bit of time and the sun kind of hardens up their shell uh, and then they grow into adult tortoises like this. So a lot of uh, sea turtles, they go onto the shore, uh, onto the beaches to lay their eggs. And again, like tortoises, they dig holes, uh, but they lay a lot more eggs. So they can lay over a hundred eggs. Uh, and they lay so many because uh, loads get, uh, when they're born, little hatchlings, they get picked off by seabirds and other predators that want to snack on them. Quite easy pickings. Um, so out of thousands of eggs, there might only be a handful uh, that survive through to adulthood. Uh, so that's why they might lay so many, uh, just to give them a chance so that a few of them might survive uh, to, to adults. So a quick overview of the uh, turtle life cycle, or the sea turtle at least. Um, the adult turtle lays large clutches of um, eggs on the shore. They uh, hatch out little tiny baby turtles. A lot do get picked off by predators, uh, but hopefully a couple of those would survive, the juveniles will survive into adult turtles and the life cycle starts again. So let's have a look at uh, amphibians now. We'll start with uh, a big frog, I think. So most amphibians and the majority of frogs and toads, they go to the water to lay their eggs. And in the case of the African bullfrog here, they would lay a big clump of eggs called frog spawn. Uh, toads usually lay kind of strands of eggs rather than a big clump of eggs. 
then they have like what's called a larval stage. So those eggs turn into little tadpoles. And they're like little fish things. They've got gills, breathe underwater for a while. And then they gradually turn into little frogs. So they get little back legs, little front legs, and then they lose their tail and they become little frogs. And then they become big massive frogs like that. So let's just have a quick recap on the frog life cycle. So most frogs uh, go to the water to lay a big jelly-like cluster of eggs called frog spawn. Toads usually lay them in uh, strands of eggs. Uh, those eggs develop and then they have what's called a larval stage. So they turn into tadpoles. Now, tadpoles, little fish-like things with gills, a mouth, eyes. They just start eating, slowly develop back legs, front legs, turn into little froglets, and then they turn into frogs. So let's have a look at newts and salamanders now. So in the case of uh, newts and salamanders, it's very similar to uh, frogs and toads. They mostly go to the water to lay eggs. They don't usually lay big clumps of eggs. It's usually more individual eggs that they lay in water plants. And then like frogs and toads, they have a larval stage. So those eggs turn into little uh, larvae newts with gills. And then over time, they get little back legs, front legs, lose their gills, and then come out onto the land and become little baby newts called efts. And then over time, they become adult newts and salamanders like this and the cycle starts again. So I just thought I'd show you some tiny baby newt uh, larvae that we have. These are from sharp rib newts and yeah they look tiny little fish things but they'll develop legs and arms and then turn into little baby uh, newts. So a quick overview on the newt and salamander life cycle. So adult newt and salamanders usually lay uh, single or small clusters of eggs in the water. Uh, they turn into kind of a larval newts uh, with gills uh, like we just saw. Then they, like the tadpoles, they get like front legs, back legs, uh, and then slowly lose their gills, go up into the land and become uh, baby newts and salamanders called efts, and then adult newts. Excellent, so I hope you enjoyed that. So we saw the life cycles of uh, reptiles like snakes, lizards, tortoises and uh, amphibians as well like frogs and newts and salamanders. So I'll put Sparky back and I'll see you again soon. Bye.